Hello guys, you're back with Tom from MSPowerUser.com and today we're looking at the new official Vine app for Windows 10. So let's dive straight in. When you open the app, you're greeted with your home screen which displays your feed in a full screen view. You can use your mouse's scroll wheel to scroll between the vines which play automatically after you've already clicked one. Or if you're not a fan of the bigger style of view, there is a small tile button up here at the top right which takes you to your tile mode. Once here you get a better overview of all the vines in your feed. It's a nicer view in my opinion and allows you to scroll through a lot easier, especially if you've already seen some of these vines. If you hover your mouse over the vine in this view as well it will start to play, which is quite a nice feature and you can click on that to bring it into the full view as well. The search function is here too and acts in a very similar way to the mobile function does. Categories are laid out in the tile based view allowing you to decide on what sort of vines you'd like to see. Once you select a category you'll get access to the tile based menu again with the best vines in those categories. You can obviously click on these vines to bring up the full screen view as well. In this view you also get access to the other tabs along the top here for easy browsing. You've got sports, animal, art, anime, all the stuff you'd normally expect to see. There's also a spotlight tab which shows off an individual profile too. On the rise and popular now panels are also here as well. Activity feed is basically your normal notifications panel. Likes from your friends, posts, revines etc all appear here and you can click into each like to see that specific vine which is quite a nice feature. I'm absolutely loving these bath bomb vines as well. Up next is your profile panel. You can see all of your posted vines and it actually shows your revines too which is quite cool. The hover to play function is also here as well to make playing these vines nice and easy. There's also a tab for your like posts which is always fun to go back through and of course you have access to your followers and people who follow you too. Now probably a more interesting feature is being able to upload a video directly from your PC which basically means it's now easier than ever to upload a professionally edited video if that's your thing or at least make the process a lot easier than going through a mobile interface. Let's have a quick look at that now. You can use the sliders here to select a certain part of your video and you can also move the frame to ensure you get the best picture for your upload. Once you've named your vine you can add it to a certain category and also share it through Twitter and Facebook too if you want. A green bar pops up at the top while it's uploading and when it's done you can actually see your results straight away in your profile tab. Let's very quickly find that. There we go. I must admit as well the whole app looks very similar to the Twitter app for Windows 10. As Vine is owned by Twitter I guess that makes a lot of sense but yeah it keeps things nice and familiar, the button layouts are the same and the whole app experience feels very very similar indeed. So that about wraps up our look at the official Vine app for Windows 10. If you like this video then be sure to check out the website at mspoweruse.com for everything Microsoft and I will see you guys in the next one.